So this video is going to be about population dynamics. So how do ecologists measure a population size? So they do it through sampling. So there's two main ways that ecologists will sample for population size. So the first one is going to be estimating the density from some sort of indicator of population size, such as like the number of nests, the number of burrows, tracks, um, animal droppings, and things of that nature. And then the second would be mark and recapture. So in mark and recapture, they, uh, what they do is they'll catch um, organisms that they're concerned with and mark them somehow, and then release them back into the environment and wait however long they want to, a couple days, a couple weeks, and then they'll go out and try to catch organisms again. And then based on the proportion of marked individuals in that second capture, they can extrapolate what the overall size of the population probably is. And so why do ecologists even want to measure population size? So the reason they want to measure it is because population sizes, population density are uh, constantly changing as individuals enter and leave these different populations. And so over in this diagram, it's kind of a visual depiction of how populations grow and then shrink. And so um, additions to a population are going to come from births and immigration. And so immigration is going to be just individuals coming from a different area and moving into this population. And then removal of members from a population is going to occur through death and immigration. And so um, sometimes people get these two uh, terms confused just because they sound almost identical. And so um, I was always told that to remember that this uh, immigration means to leave a population is that it starts with an E and so you can think E for exit. So those individuals are exiting that population and then going to a new area. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.